Yeah, this is a very good question. Actually, um, we are doing research on uh, um, sodium cathode materials, uh, different kind of cathode materials. Uh, the focus uh, is basically to develop um, high performance uh, cathode materials. And uh, uh, in the framework of uh, research that we are doing in Polis is basically what we are tackling or what we are considering are layered uh, oxides. Um, doping has been always uh, a, a strategy to improve the, the electrochemical performance, so cycling stability and capacity as well. Uh, the magnesium doping, well, uh, there has been uh, uh, quite a few publications in the past reporting about different kind of dopings and uh, iron, for instance, uh, but also magnesium. There were a couple of publications from the CIC uh, in Spain. And uh, it's really interesting uh, because basically the size of uh, magnesium and uh, the nickel, which is actually our redox active species in the uh, P2 layered oxide is very similar and therefore we can exchange uh, nickel with magnesium yeah, and try to stabilize uh, the, uh, the electrochemical performance, particularly in the high voltage region. Yeah, the focus was uh, to improve the performance and basically one of the main uh, problems with this P2 nickel manganese uh, uh, oxide materials is that they undergo a phase transition at a high potential, so the so-called P2O2 phase transition. And this leads to a pure, poor electrochemical performance, especially in terms of uh, cycle life. So what we wanted to do was to improve that behavior by suppressing this phase transition. And actually magnesium uh, does the work. Uh, well, uh, for synthesis, uh, we use a coprecipitation method. This is a method that is used um, normally in industry to develop cathode materials in the ton scale. So it's a method which is available for scaling up. It's possible to scaling up. Uh, of course, our focus at ZSW is always also looking at how to scale up uh, materials and cells. So we uh, adopted this, uh, this um, strategy for synthesis, yeah, uh, looking already at producing uh, materials in the kilogram uh, scale. Uh, this was, of course, the, uh, the synthesis of the material. Uh, the doping was done uh, following basically the co-precipitation followed by uh, the E-treatment. Um, and then we characterized the material uh, in terms of uh, physiochemical uh, properties and, of course, uh, electrochemical. And we had uh, a very nice uh, collaboration with the group of uh, Axel Gross, uh, University of Ulm, but also with the group of Sonia Zoke from KIT. So I think this was a very nice collaboration showing that within Polis, uh, collaboration can really make a difference, a different expertise, and we were uh, able not only to show an improvement of the performance, but to explain why this has been the case. And uh, as I said, uh, mainly um, with the uh, inoperando or operando uh, X-ray diffraction uh, and also with the uh, DFT calculation. Uh, doping the uh, P2 nickel manganese uh, oxide um, with magnesium leads to the suppression of the P2O2 phase transition at a high potential. And so we go from a P2OP4 uh, phase transition. We were also able to uh, prove that uh, by DFT that indeed the magnesium doping stabilizes the OP4 uh, structure. And another finding that is uh, a real uh, novelty, uh, there was uh, absolutely no report in literature, is that actually is a, the phase transition occurring at the uh, high voltage uh, for the doped 
doped material is actually an evolution of phases. Yeah, so it's not a bi so two-phase reaction, but is an evolution of phase, phases leading finally to the uh, OP4.